Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray you're having a blessed day in the Lord. I want to share the Word of God with you today. I just began to read in the Word of God, and it began to speak so beautifully to my heart. There's scriptures in this Word of God for everything that we need. It is literally a, a light into our, our footsteps. The Word of God is beautiful, and it, it declares things into our life. It speaks to us, and I love how there's words in there for healing. There's words in there for deliverance. There's words in there for the broken, the bound, the lost. And I love how the Lord tells us not to fear. And fear is in the word of God 365 times. And we have 365 days in a year. So each day of our life, he is telling us not to fear. He is our provider. He is Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh. He is the will in the middle of the will. He is our all in all. And I'll praise him today. He is our refuge our, from the storm. He is our high tower. He is, praise God, the horn of our salvation. He's our strength, our source, our refuge, our peace, and the giver of salvation. And just whatever we're in need of, he has it for us. And I just love it. And I love him. And I love the word of God and how it speaks. I begin to think about healing. Many are in need of healing. And the word of God says in Psalms 30 and 17, David said, Lord my God, I called unto you for help, and you healed me. I love how Jeremiah 30 and 17 says, But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. He himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. By his wounds you are healed. 1 Peter 2 and 24. He made that way for us to die to the sin nature. And he changes us into a new creature. And he paid the price for our healing. And by his stripes we are healed. He said, I was wounded for your transgressions. I was bruised for your iniquities. I took those stripes for your healing. And he himself bore it in his body. I love this. If you're broken hearted. There's help in the Lord. He says he comes to heal the brokenhearted. In Psalms 147 and 3, it says he heals the broken and hearted and he binds up their wounds. Only the Lord can heal a broken heart. If you're weak, he, he will give you strength. And our true strength and our help comes from the Lord. We can't rely on our own righteousness, our own strength, or our own ability. The Word of God says it's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says God. He moves upon us and he moves through his spirit. And it says here, he gives power to the weak and to those that have no strength. He gives might in Isaiah 40 and 29. So we are to depend upon the Lord. And I just love this. If you're heavy, if you're overwhelmed, he says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest in Matthew 11, 28. He restores our soul in Psalms 23. It declares he restoreth my soul. So when we go through things and we just feel overwhelmed, we feel burdened down, he restores our soul. I love this. It says in Philippians 4 and 19, if you are in need, if you have a need, he says, and my God will meet your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I praise the Lord that he is Jehovah Jireh. I love this. Um, the word of God says, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear. God's not given a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. I love this. And if you look it up, actually, fear is in the word of God 365 times. There's 365 days in a year. So each day of our lives, the Lord is telling us, do not fear. Do not fear. If you're just concerned about the, the things around you and the times that we're living in. I love Psalms 3. I love how David, he had many enemies. And David begins to say in Psalms 3 and 3, it says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are the glory and the lifter of my head. I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me from his holy mountain. He, heals, he hears us from the throne, and he is our shield. It says, I lay down and sleep, and I wake up in safety, for the Lord is watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. There may be spirits on every side. We, we see anger. We see uh, sickness. We see famine. We see things. But we don't have to fear, for the Lord is watching over us, and he is our shield. 
And it says, I'm not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O Lord, rescue me, my God. Then he begins to declare, may you bless your people. And I love Psalms 103. I love this. It says in Psalms 103 and 3, He forgives all my sins and heals my diseases. Verse 4, He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. Good things. Come on, somebody. All good comes from the Lord. And it says, He my youth is renewed like eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all those who are treated unfairly. And David begins to declare the beautiful things of God. He says in his word, you shall live and not die. You shall declare the works of the Lord. He says, I know the plans that I think towards you, saith God. Thoughts of good and not of evil, but to give to you a hope, an expected end. You know, the Lord loves us. He loves people. It's not his will that any should perish, but have everlasting life. And he paid a price at Calvary for whosoever. So I just want to encourage you for whatever you need, you can find it in this word of God. It is a light into our footsteps and into our paths. It is a foundation. It is a, the word of God is quick and it's powerful. And we are to trust in his word. And his word will never fail us. I trust in his word. When I feel overwhelmed, I just go to this word. When I need a shelter, I just go to this word. I feel his voice speaking to me. I hear his word and it comforts me. And the word of God is a place of refuge. And I just want to encourage you today. God bless you all.